Doing good, I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a one on one call service on Stan Store. First, to get started, you can use the link in my description to sign up. Once on Stan Store, you will be redirected to a page like this. On this page, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, and from there, you're going to select My Store. After selecting My Store, you're going to tap on Add product then you'll see the option coaching call you're going to select that option after you have done that you can see you have three different options you can either select button style call out or preview as you can see right there you can select whichever one of these options best suits you i'm going to be selecting preview after you have done that you can scroll down you could change your thumbnail image by tapping on choose image so you can either choose to upload an image, for example, of yourself, or you can tap on the search bar right here and you could type any keyword related to the coaching call or what theme you would like to use, or you can select one of their copyright free images right here. After you have done that, you can edit the title, subtitle, and you can also edit the call to action. Once you're finished, you can tap on next at the bottom of the page. Then from here, you could edit the header image by tapping on choose image. You could choose a different image if you want. And again, you can edit the title and you can also edit the description. And you can see the description will basically describe what you'll be offering on your coaching call. So you can edit this section if you want. And again, you can edit the bottom title and you can also edit the call to action. And this is the section on which you'll be able to set your price. At the moment, it is set at $9.99. If you'd like to change the price, you can quickly do that. Then you can select what information you'd like to collect from someone when they are signing up. At the moment, it is set to collect their name and email address. You could tap on Add Field. And from there, if you'd like to add something else, you could tap on Text, Multiple Choice, Drop Down, or Check Boxes. Once you are finished, you will scroll back up, then you are going to tap on availability. From here, you can see configure settings. You can tap where you see default. You could set up Google Meet, Zoom meeting, custom location, phone number or email. You can select whichever one of those options. For example, if I were to tap on Google Meet, all you'll need to do is simply connect your Google Meet and then from there you'll be able to set it up using Google Meet. You can also set your time zone and you can set the duration of your one-on-one -on -one calls whether you like it to be 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes or so on. And you can also scroll down and you can see prevent booking within X hours of current time. And you can set that up right there whether you would like to add a 12 hour buffer period or so on and you can set up the max attendance that you want we're going to be leaving it one on one then you can scroll down and would you like to take breaks in between meetings you can set that up right there and you can also set book within the next so you'll allow persons to book consultation for up to the next 60 days so that is a two month from now you can do that or you could cut it down or you can increase it then from here you can also set up the days and the time that you are available so let's say for example we will be able to offer one-on-one -on -one consultation between mondays and wednesdays so we won't be available on thursday and friday so i'll delete thursday delete friday and i'm only available from 9 to 3 p.m so I can change the time right here. So I'll change it to 3 p.m. And you can change it right here also. So I'll change it to 3 p.m. once more. Then I'll change it right there. So let's change it to 3 p.m. After you have done that, if you like to block out specific dates, you can do that. So you can block out a specific date that you would like to not receive any booking. Once you're finished, you can scroll back up. You could tap on options. And from there, if you like to set up email flows, reminders, or so on, you can do that. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish. After you have tapped on publish, you can see that it is now live. If we were to tap, for example, on the three dots, 
we could tap on copy URL. Then from there, if I were to paste in my URL right here, you can see how it looks. So you can see right there. Once everything is there like in, all you will need to do now, you can go back. And from there, you could go over to the left hand menu option and you will be able to view your analytics. So you can track your analytics right there and see how many customers have visited your store and so on. Keep in mind, if you would like to access all of the features that they offer, for example, different funnels, appointments, and so on, you will need to go onto their paid plan. And the paid plan is quite affordable. So for example, if I were to tap on settings right here and select billing, and if I were to tap on change plan, you can see that their paid plan starts off at $29 per month and it goes up to $99 per month depending on the features that you want. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.